Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us for Ansbox quarterly housing town hall meeting. Uh, we are going to cut over to the garrison commander and the command sergeant major to take a look at stairwells. Hey, Ansbach, from, from Colonel Dixon and myself, thank you for your support last week, not only with spring cleanup, um, but for all those that came out and got flowers. Um, you guys came out, you got some flowers, and we sold out. And, and, and based on what we thought we were going to need, uh, you blew it out of the park. And so thank you for making our house a home, which we call Ansbach. So thank you so much. There's a lot, of, a lot of people that have to get involved to make this the best hometown in Europe, and that means all of you. For those of you who got out and said, I'm going to actually put my heart and soul into this, thank you from the bottom of our hearts and hope that you'll go back and inspire the rest of your neighbors so that we all come up to the same standard that you established when you went out and did those things. So thanks for all your hard work. Keep telling us what more we can do for you. And if we can find the means and resources to do it, we're going to figure it out. Thanks, Ansbach. Now, Ansbach family, this is what we're looking for. You walk up these stairs and you go, a family lives there. They're neat, they're tidy, they're organized, they're proud of where they live. And you come down the stairs, they've got some plants they put out on their own that they keep taking care of to try to make the place more homelike. You go right around the stairs, and they got a whole other family. Nice, neat, tidy, respecting their neighbors. And I want to show you something else in the basement. Yeah, there's not a lot of exciting things about a basement. People don't really like their basements. But I tell you, there's a lot of families that don't keep it neat and tidy like this. They can walk down the hall. All the doors are locked, can't get in there, you're protecting your stuff. And then, come down to a common area, this could be a catastrophe. A lot of unsafe objects or things just misorganized, but these families have said, we're going to take care of it, we're going to organize our outdoor play equipment, our bikes, and keep everything friendly and neighborly. And that's what we're looking for, Ansbach. Hey guys, for those of us that did a great job during, during spring cleanup last week, thank you. But there is still room for improvement. As we look in this basement, we've got a safety concern. We've got some bulk furniture, okay, and some things that we can just improve upon here at Ansbach. So don't forget, June 14th, it's the Army's birthday, and it's also bulk pickup. So if you got big furniture, you got things that you just don't need, get them out of here. Stairwell living, it's not easy. I know, because I did it for two years as a young soldier in the Army. But this is unacceptable. We've got to work together. We've got to clean this area up because it's not safe. It's not safe for our kids and it's not safe for our families. Ansbach, I know you can do better than this. And I know that's why this is the best hometown in Europe. Let's get after it. So another difference with our houses in Germany uh, is that we don't have mechanical ventilation. So no big fans with motors pushing the air through the space. So in order to ventilate our houses and our buildings, we need to do manual ventilation. And what that means is opening windows. So for uh, this house in particular, we've got two bedrooms across the hallway from each other. What we want to do at least three to four times a day, open our windows completely. So unlike the stage where our windows open up and down, these actually open out or at a 45 degree angle. So we open them fully three or four times a day, and then we go across the hall and we make sure our doors are open and we get this nice cross breeze by opening this window as well. And so we fully ventilate the space. We do this through all of our doors, all of our windows, uh, and we get that nice ventilation, all that fresh air. Do this three or four times a day uh, for about 25 to 30 minutes, uh, especially during the summer season. Hi everyone. Now that we've talked about ventilation and when and how often you should do it, we want a reminder that when you're taking a shower or a bath even, that you wanna open your bathroom window so that we don't end up with a buildup of mildew around your windowsill, which is very common here in Germany. Uh, let it stay open for about 15 minutes after you're done and you know let all the condensation get out of here and then you can go ahead and close it again. And something else we want to consider is where we put our items in the rooms. So something you want to think about is to make sure that your furniture has a little bit of space away from the wall. And this goes for your heavy furniture like couches, bookshelves, dressers, beds, and also smaller furniture that you might not think about like small shelves, uh, little containers that you have for toys or for other items. 
Letting the air flow between the wall and your objects is another great way to keep mold and mildew from growing in your home. Now that you've been told how to ventilate your home here in Germany and told different times when to ventilate, uh, after showers, after baths, remove humidity from your home, if you suspect any mold or mildew issues, please put in a uh, work request through ARMA. Thanks everyone for joining us for our quarterly housing town hall. We really hope that this provided a good amount of information for you. But if you have any questions or you don't understand something that we talked about, or maybe you just want some help with something, be sure to leave a comment and we will have someone answer that and give you some fantastic information. Have a great day and we will see you at our next quarterly town hall meeting.